your kid comes home and goes, do you know what the coach said? Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, I think I've been telling you that, do you see? So. Yeah. The other thing I'd probably talk about is the, the um, impact of hormones on some of the parts of our brain. And so testosterone impacts our amygdala. And so an increase in testosterone, it's all a continuum, so it's the male end of the continuum that's the higher of the um, testosterone. The amygdala basically says separation from parent and child. So the more activated the amygdala, the more separation. So this is where actually, if you've got a relationship with your coach, your kid comes home and goes, do you know what the coach said? Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, I think I've been telling you that, do you see? saying that the whole time. Exactly, <laughs> but because what happens at puberty, and this is especially for the male end of the spectrum there, is that they go, don't listen to anything yeah. that person says, don't do everything opposite, all that sort of stuff. So can you see where sport can be really important in that space? Um, for having a mentor and having someone else to talk to and stuff like that. And even the older kids and the older grades or whatever start to become really important. Yeah. For female, for the estrogen um, activation, um, that end of the spectrum, the estrogen increases oxytocin, mm -hmm. which is the hormone that made us fall in love with our babies. And so that means girls oxytocin fall in love with each other. Ah, yep. And there's that need to be with each other because biologically we raised babies in groups of females. Yep. So we click together. Uh, okay. But that means if you get put out of the click, it's like being taken away from your baby. Yeah. Yeah. So can you see how that belonging to that group yeah. or not belonging becomes so much more important when you've got that increased level of oxytocin do you see so yeah. so there's those sorts of things that can really advise us around sports yeah which is why in a generalistic sense if you can be in that sport before you hit puberty yeah. and stay in a generalized i'm not about keeping all teams together i'm not saying that but do you see keeping that generalized relationship with a yeah. coach with your peers yeah that that will often increase the likelihood of maintaining yeah